There's been some question as to how to do the reverse Punnett square for the level two homework. Uh, so let me show you what it is that I want from that. All right, so let's say you have an offspring and you know that this offspring has an allele pattern of, let's just say, our genotype of A, A, okay? I don't need to know what the other three siblings look like. If I know that this offspring, this F1 generation or whichever generation it is, has this allele pattern, what do I know about the parent? Well, I know that one parent has to have a big A, and I know that one parent has to have a little A. Okay, So that's what I'm looking for from you. So if you have on your character sheet, you have um, phenotypes and genotypes right, for your eyes and your hair color. So go back, figure out what it was that you chose that character to have as a genotype. Put it in a Punnett square like this. You're going to know that those parents have to have at least this and this. Okay. Now, do we know what the other allele is? No. I mean, it could be a capital A here. It could be a little a here. Uh, or it could be a little a here and a capital A here. All right. It, you don't know. You don't know what the other two are. But you know that one parent has to have a lowercase a and one parent has to have an uppercase a in order to be able to produce an offspring with this genotype. Okay, so now let's say we had one that had a genotype of little a, little a. Well, what do we know? We know that this parent has to have a little a and that this parent has to have a little a. So possible phenotypes for these parents. Okay, so let's say that this is the mom here, and let's say this is the dad over here. So possible phenotypes, I mean, I'm sorry, genotypes for the parents. Uh, for mom, mom could be either capital A, little a, or little a, little a. Has to have a little a in it. That's all we know. Same exact thing for dad, right? So dad would have the same exact genotype as the mom had. Um... Now let's go back and say we have, let's go back to this one again. Okay. So we have mom up here and we have dad over here. So we know one of them has to have this and one of them has to have this. So mom could be capital A, little a, or little a, little a. Dad could be capital A, capital A, or capital A, little a. We don't know. But as long as dad has a capital A to give and mom has a little a to give, then we're good. Of course, this could be um, opposite as well, right? This could be the mom and this could be the dad. Okay. I just want you to pick what you think the genotypes are for parents that could produce an offspring with the genotype that you determined from your homework last week. All right. If you have any other questions, let me know. I'm here to help you.